So big news guys, Microsoft announced that the preview for Power BI Report Server is now available for download. They announced it on the Power BI team blog, Power BI Report Server Preview now available. So they've got some information here about it, what you can do with it, obviously create cool reports, some of the things that are included in the preview version, and then of course the download link, which I'll put in the bottom of this video. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download the Microsoft Power BI Report Server May 2017 preview. Um, click the little download button, and that'll take you to this other screen. Two things you need to download, uh, the Power BI Report Server uh, executable, that'll install Power BI Report Server for you, the preview anyway, and then the Power BI Desktop um, RS installation. So you can click both of those, download, download starts and you're off to the races. Okay, this is the Power BI Report Server preview installation. Let's install it. We're going to go with the uh, free edition. Click Next. Of course, we accept the terms. Install Power BI Report Server only. It says you'll need to have or install a database engine instance on this server or a different server. Alright, should be good to go. Click next. That's where we're going to install it. Yes, install away. Looks like our Power BI Desktop RS download is finished, so we'll install that next. Okay, it looks like the setup is completed. Now we're ready to configure it. So let's start the configuration. Okay, if you're configuring the Power BI report server for the first time, there's a few things you're gonna have to do to get up and running. Uh, first of all, let's go to the database tab over here. And when you're setting this up for the first time, you're gonna have to click change database. And when you click change database, uh, you need to specify if you're going to create a new report server database or choose an existing report server database. Uh, chances are you're installing this for the very first time, so you're probably going to cr click create a new report server database. Um, and this is just like traditional reporting services where you need a, a SQL server database to store the report definitions. Um, so we're going to click create a new report server database. Enter in your server name, if that's right. For the database name, um, if you're installing this on a, uh, uh, on a server or a, a server that already has a reporting services database, you probably want to give this a different name. So we'll call this Power BI Report Server. That's good. Click Next. That's fine. We can use the service credentials. That's good. And click Next. And you're off to the races. And it'll create the database for you, and you should be good to go. And this will just take a couple of minutes. All right, we're done. Good. We've got our new Power BI Report Server database. Now for your web service URL, um, you'll have to come to this tab, and I think the only thing that you should have to do here is just click the Apply button. Um, if you're installing this on, uh, you know, like a demo machine, uh, like I am, and you have reporting services running side by side with Power BI Report Server, uh, then you'll need to um, probably change the virtual directory, put something in here that is not already being used by reporting services. Um, so you want to make sure that you've do that, then click Apply. Uh, I've already done it here, so I'm not going to do that. Um, for the web portal URL, do the same thing. 
make sure you change this here um, for a virtual directory that's not already in use and click apply. And then after you've done that, uh, you should be good to go. Okay, I'm going to open up Internet Explorer in admin mode because I'm running reporting services locally. And this will let me navigate to the Power BI report server. All right, and it looks like we've got our Power BI report server. Awesome. All right, now it's time to install the Power BI desktop for report server. All right, click next. Yes, three. Next, next, install. Okay, so Power BI desktop for report server is open now. Um, just looking around a little bit, you know, we've got the traditional links to the Power BI uh, site uh, where you've got like the helpful videos and the community forums. Looks like there's also a link to the reporting services forums and the reporting services team blog, so that's cool. Um, got a couple other options over here on the left that I saw was pretty interesting. You can open other reports that you've been working on in Power BI Desktop for Report Server, but then you can also open up Power BI Reports, it looks like, from Report Server. Um, now I don't have anything um, on the Report Server yet, um, but why don't we fix that? All right, so let's click Get Data. And I think in the initial release of the Power BI Report Server preview, only uh, direct connections to SQL Server Analysis Services supported, so I'm gonna select that, click Connect. Type in the name of my server here, which is my local machine. Click OK, and let's let's just go with the trusty old AdventureWorks. How about that? All right. Just throw in some uh, measures here. quick report. I'm not too interested in the, uh, the report design piece since there's not going to really be anything new there for now. Okay. Good, and last visualization here. Let's get the reseller total sales, and let's break it down by product category. How about that? Okay, cool. All right, great, awesome. Cool Power BI report. Okay, now, Looks like for the publishing, I'll save this first. Just save it here on the desktop. Call this Power BI RS first report. To save it to the report server, just select Power BI report server on the save as menu, and then put in the name of your report server. I've got it here on the clipboard, so I'm just going to paste that in. Click OK. All right, looks like I picked it up. Oh, there's our file name, Power BI RS, first report, click OK. All right, success, let's take me there. All right, looks like I'm not going to be able to open it. I've got Explorer open here. Let's refresh this. All right, there's my first report. Looks like we've got our interactive report. So that's pretty cool. We've got our interactive Power BI report here running in Power BI report server. Let's see, what are the buttons here? So cool, we can print it. Let's see, we can increase the size there. That's cool. Looks like you can edit it directly in Power BI desktop. Let's click that and see what happens. And there it, is. There it goes. Looks like I can open up Power BI Desktop Report Server. Um, 
ant for report server and continue editing this and throw in some data labels, right? Everybody needs data labels, and let's make this a line chart. Instead of doing it by the day, let's do it by the date. Instead of by the date hierarchy, rather. Do it by the date. Okay, cool. So let's save this. All right, and if we go back to here, let's do a refresh. Did that do anything? Probably don't need to refresh it since it's a live SSAS connection, but I wonder if I'm saving it, save that latest version back here. And it looks like it did. So that part is cool. Okay. Interactive looks like we can explore. We can see the data for a particular visualization. All right. That's cool. That's pretty similar to the Power BI portal. Okay. Pretty cool. We can add comments. Let's see what this is all about. This report is great. Post comment. Awesome. Then I can leave a reply. That's cool. All right. Looks like we can do the branding. That's cool. Downloaders for Report Builder, Mobile Report Publisher, Power BI Mobile. That's cool too. It looks like you can do all the, the uh, usual reporting services type things. APIs, Mobile Reports, Power BI Reports, Paginate Reports, Data Sets, Data Sources, all those sorts of things. Let's see, change this to Tiles, you get the list. That's cool. Pretty excited Power BI report servers out, at least the preview is. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.